Hello guys, so today I'm going to show you how to fix every part of a two plug. These are two plug sockets and these are all the parts. This one is not removable because it has rivets on, on it. It's the one that is used to plug the socket into the hole in the wall. So we are going to start uh, integrating every part into this black uh, box here supposed to face upwards so the first thing is this one you just plug it in and then you 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 press it in to reach that level then next you're going to put two plugs here this one and this one no not in that order sorry yeah it should be like this yeah, so these ones, these ones are the ones that when you plug in, uh, these are the ones that make that connection. Then the next piece is this one. So this one will clip these ones firmly so that uh, they won't come off. So you just press it in smoothly. Yeah, then the next step is to put the other two, one there and uh, the other one there then now you are left with these two spaces and uh, this space here so this one you can see that this one will definitely fit in there and this one will definitely fit in there so now we have the two plugs where you you will uh, plug in your this one doesn't have any connection this uh, is the earth this is the one that is used to press so that uh, to press here so that uh, your 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 plug will go in smoothly so it doesn't have any connection metal metal connection so the next thing we are going to do is uh, you these ones are the ones that make now the connection you see now this inside here these holes this is the negative and this is the positive so what we want is uh so that this carries the positive and we want these two plugs to receive the positive current so these ones are the ones that are going to make that connection you have these and these so as you can see here you have uh, holes where you can insert them now you need this one uh to come to enter like that face first as you can see and uh, it's it will lie flat and also you do the same here not not I'm not using this side I'm using the wider base face first you enter it then slide it in yeah so now we are done with that now we come to the other circuit we have this one now we we need uh, we need to have uh, a spring there and uh, we need to have another spring there and now you need to press this spring back so that it will get attached to this space here so you, spre you press it back then you, you insert it so that the spring this uh, connection can move like this so that when you press this hole here the spring will move backwards to make an opening it will move backwards to make an opening for these connections here for these connections here so i'll repeat that step you press it in you also do the same here yeah now we come to the switches now it is very important to because we want our yeah, I'll just hold this because I've already connected them. Normally, ideally, uh, your plug should have the on button, the on plug facing up, so that when you toggle it up, you can see the red. So that is very important here. So you ask yourself, now I want this one to go like this. So this one will definitely go on this side you put it like that then this one will definitely go on this side 
put it in like that now we want to join this these two or oh, then there is a an important component of this that makes this connection possible you need to put this one spring first inside yeah so now we come to the integration of the whole part you just place it like this you can see there are slots here so you want them to go inside here so you just place it like that smoothly and then it will click and now you can see you can turn on off on off yeah now you just need to screw it up one screw here one screw here another screw here and another screw here and you're done